The Honourable Minister of Community Services and Seniors. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Innovation, Advanced Learning and myself, I would like to tell you about an evening of classical music to be held later this month. The Brigham Young University, Idaho, Sinfionette will be, sorry, Sinfionetta will be performing a very special symphony on the evening of April 22nd at St. Dunstan's Basilica. This event is sponsored by the PEI Council of People with Disabilities and Inclusions East, and the orchestra is performing at no cost to these sponsoring organizations. It is being supported by many generous island businesses and organizations, as well as in-kind contributions from my department, Community Services and Seniors and Skills PEI. Funds raised through ticket sales will support the ongoing work of the PEI Council of People with Disabilities and Inclusions East, and will go towards employment programs for people with disabilities. It is going to be a wonderful performance, Madam Speaker. Under the direction of Dr. Robert Tuller, the ensemble consists of 38 musicians, string, woodwind, brass, and percussion players, who are between the ages of 18 and 27. The performers are all students at Brigham Young, Brigham Young University in Idaho, and most are pursuing professional degrees in music performance or education. Madam Speaker, the symphony will also include island talent, as the Confederation Center Children's Choir will be, will be performing as well. The concert will be held at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, April 22nd, and a limited number of tickets will be sold for $10 each. They will be available from the PEI Council of People with Disabilities and Inclusions East. Tickets will not be sold at the door, Madam Speaker, at the night of the concert, so I suggest interested islanders get their tickets right away in order not to be disappointed. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity.